Hi, I'm Kyla from KylaRoma.com. I'm a web designer and a blogging and business coach. And I'm going to show you today how to test your site to see if it's mobile friendly. And if it's not mobile friendly, exactly what to do uh, to make sure that it is. This is a tutorial for WordPress users. I have a post linked in the comments below uh, in the description below this video where you can actually go and uh, get all the info for Blogger and for pad as well. So first of all, to get started, you can enter kyloroma.com slash mobile plugin. Actually, that's going to be mobile test. <laughs> and mobile test will take you to the uh, the test here where you can see exactly how mobile friendly your website is. So to enter, it's really simple. Just enter your URL. So I'll enter mine and I've turned off anything that will make it more Google friendly and we'll skip to the results. Finish now. I'll be able to see the results in one second. Dramatic, not mobile friendly. So you can see it's showing kind of a preview of my site and there's nothing there to help it um, be really mobile friendly. So it's saying that the text is too small. We've got a whole bunch of errors. Um, that's just because uh, the site is optimized for a desktop computer. So the easiest way to make your WordPress site Google friendly is, and by Google friendly, I mean mobile friendly <laughs> for all of the changes that Google is making in April, 2015. You can go ahead and enter uh, kyloroma.com slash mobile plugin. That will redirect you to the plugin that I recommend to my clients. Uh, it's called WP Touch. Really great plugin, gives you a beautiful looking site, really simple, and it auto detects for all of your mobile users. Uh, there is a pro version of this. If you'd like to get it, you can get a lot more customizations. Um, you can go over here, click this link to do that. But the free version of this of the plugin is beautiful and will do the trick exactly. So let's click the download button. And you can see it's already downloading. I've opened up a window here where you can see that. This is the new uh, plugin that has downloaded. It's called WP Touch, and then that's the version number. So the next step is to navigate over to your uh, website's login uh, page and to get it set up. So I'm going to enter mine in. And I have a custom login page. So then you can just enter in your information and get started. You've logged into yours. You're going to want to go over into the sidebar and yours will probably be a little bit bigger than mine. There we go. <laughs> so you want to uh, look over in the sidebar here and click plugins. That page will load. And then what you want to do is click on add new right at the top here. And then we're going to install this plugin. Now we've already downloaded it, so all you need to do is click Upload Plugin right up next to the title. Then click Choose File. And we're going to tell WordPress exactly where that plugin is. So I've just clicked WP Touch and then Open. And you can click Install Now. You can see down here uh, the uh, uh, the plugin progress, it's uploading the file package uh, up into your WordPress installation and then we'll let the uh, custom settings take effect. Plugins are like apps, for example, uh, in a, on an iPhone. So if you think about WordPress as your, um, is like an iPhone, uh, plugins are apps that let you extend the functionality without changing anything um, like that's core to the phone itself or the WordPress installation itself. So it says it's installed successfully, which is great. Click Activate Plugin. Uh, if you get an error message here, you don't have to worry. Nothing is broken. Nothing has gone uh, too terribly wrong. You'll just want to deactivate the plugin on the plugins page. But that shouldn't happen. It should all just go swimmingly. So click Activate.
One of the things that you'll also want to make sure that you t keep an eye out for in your WordPress installation is this number up here and this number down here. Um, these are in these are updates for your uh, WordPress installation in general for the plugins, and it can also be for your WordPress installation in general. Um, it's really really important to keep these completely up to date. Uh, so if you ever see that, make sure that you click on it and you update it. All right, so now I have down here a version called, or a menu item called WP Touch. So we can just click that and go directly to the theme. Here, uh, you can go and click on core settings. So this is a kind of like a dashboard here, and it's going to give you some news about what's going on. Just click on core settings, and then you can uh, make some changes to the overall plugin and to how it's representing your site. So we have, it's filled in some of this information um, just by default using the settings in my site. So that's fine, Kyle Roma is great. Regionalization, auto detect the language, that's perfect. Um, make sure that the mobile theme is, visit, is uh, visible to all visitors, that's great. Uh, so we've, I'm just gonna click uh, the default landing page. So I really haven't, I haven't made any changes at all just looking here that looks great this all looks great so I'm just going to click Save Changes and then the site should be ready for prime time it's activated and it's live and we can run the test again and make sure that everything is working so this page has now updated almost there we go. And I'm just going to open a new tab. We can go to kyloroma.com slash mobile test and run this test again. And <laughs> there we go. And click analyze. Um, my page is mobile friendly. You can tell uh, that that green message here, it means that it's passed the test. My site isn't going to be uh, penalized by Google once all of the new changes come in on uh, April 21st, 2015. Uh, it shows you some temporary uh, errors here. So you can um, click here and uh, see the resources, go a little bit further into that. I really recommend that you use uh, Google Webmaster Tools if you haven't uh, used that yet. Really strongly recommend it. It is a great service and completely free. And you can really get into some more of the fun things, uh, technical uh, pieces behind the scenes. But if you just complete these steps, your site is completely mobile ready. If you want to make some changes uh, and go a little bit deeper into the theme, you can, in uh, WordPress Touch or WP Touch, you can make all kinds of uh, changes here. There's different th themes that are available. Um, I haven't changed the theme. Bauhaus is the theme uh, that is enabled by default. It's free, it's simple, it looks beautiful. You can change how many set, uh, posts that you want to have listed. You can um, change exactly what shows up for everybody. You can add all kinds of neat branding, uh, change the colors, add a site logo. Uh, you can add different icons for, if, for what will appear on their phone if someone bookmarks it. Um, and there's all kinds of great options that really can let you go a lot deeper. Uh, again, if you go into menus, you can choose which menus appear um, on the site as an option and uh, really get down into customizing them all the way down to adding different um, images for it. So here we go. Yeah, different menu icons and uh, you can upload uh, icon sets here and uh, choose exactly which of your uh, menus appears on the site. Uh, really, really fun. You can get really into it if you want to. Again, all of this is completely optional and all you have left to do is uh, open up the, the site on your mobile phone or on your tablet and take a look at all your hard work paying off. Thanks again for visiting. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up below or a visit and leave a comment on the post at kyloroma.com. Thanks and good luck with the mobile get -in.